Well, folks, this is Marty out here in Ozark Outdoors. They got the AR Grindle out again. We're going to do some more testing on the uh, 6.5 Grindle ammo that I made out of the 762 by 39 brass. I did some testing last week and found that we've got to reduce the charges significantly to uh, keep from having too high pressure and with the uh, large rifle primers. I didn't have the chronograph out last week, but this week I will have the chronograph and I'm going to see what kind of velocity I can get, even though I backed the loads down quite a ways. I'm trying the same bullets, same powder, same cases, I'm just dropping the powder charge. So let's put some bullets through the chronograph and try to get them in that paper. Got to get my proper 9mm hearing protection. I want to load the 25.6 grains of benchmark behind the 123 grain SST first. It's the lightest load in that bullet combo. Got an error on that one. Only got four readings that time at twenty three fifty seven, twenty four twelve, twenty three ninety. 51 I got a 2409 2307 2382 2412 low is 2412 average of 2390 extreme spread 54 standard deviation 25 not very good as far as I'm concerned no velocity left a little bit to be desired but wasn't any ugly marks on the cases like there was with the higher pressure loads I shot the other day. Group's not terrible at 100 yards, but there was one that was kind of out of the group there, but...
17. That's a little more like it as far as uh, velocity goes. Got 2417. Low was 2417. High was 2460. Average was 2448. Extreme spread of 43. Standard deviation 17. 2417. 2457. 2452. 2454, 2460. It's all pretty good except for one of them. Let's go down and see what kind of groups they made. Well, except for one shot, they were all really close in velocity. But the groups themselves. A little big. There's load one, load two. Oh, the brass doesn't look bad. So I'm going to keep going with the next higher pressure load. Next one will be 26.2 grains. I'd like to get up there 25, 2550 in velocity without bad pressure signs. Hopefully I can achieve that and still get a decent group. Well this is the 26.2 grain load. Yeah, crap, I didn't get any freaking velocity off of those. Well, let's go look and see the groups anyway. Well, still nothing great. I'm going to shoot at this spot right here for the last load with the 123 grain SSTs. Hope I'll get a velocity off the next ones. Well, no real pressure signs with the 26.2 uh, grain load. Unfortunately, I didn't get a reading off the velocity on my chronograph. I don't see that mark on them that the other loads the other day was making. I don't see the uh, mark on them this time where the ejector hole was on any of these. The ones I loaded the other day all showed that mark. This is the last load of 23 grain SSTs, it's at 26.5 grains of benchmark. I'm using Winchester large rifle primers and all these loads. And these cases weigh between 118 and 121.9 grains. 24 inch battery creek arsenal up.
538. sizes that I'm wanting out of it. Still there's no there's no spot on the cases. Primers aren't completely flattened out like they were the other day. I think I'm still safe there. Tighten the group up a little bit. Well, let's walk down here and see what kind of groups we made. Didn't look like right. very good through the scope. Good enough to suit me. It's weird that the lighter load had a whole lot of difference in velocity actually shot the best group. And maybe that might be a decent group here at 100 yards, but with that big a spread in velocity, if you try to shoot three or 400 yards, you're going to get a bunch of vertical dispersion I'm afraid with that much difference in velocity. Probably live with this load right here if it hadn't a, threw that one out like it did. And it was probably close to 2500. Didn't get a velocity reading on that but this load here was a little over 2500. Maybe I need to go up another three tenths of a grain. There may be a little bit more velocity in it without any pressure signs. And maybe a tighter group a little higher up. Or maybe I need to just stick with this. Well, I'll use this other target. And I'm going to shoot some of the uh, 107 grain match kings at it. That last load. Low was 24.94 and 25.38 average, 25.25 extreme spread, 43.95 standard deviation, 18, 25 25.38, 25.25, 25.35, 24.94. That one right there could have been the one that shot way out of the group. I don't know. It's decent velocity. That's what I was looking for. Just not the groups I was wanting. Well, this next one is 107 grain match king load. And 115 to 117.9 grain cases. One chest of large rifle primers and benchmark powder. We'll start with the 27.6 grain charge first and see what kind of velocity and group size we get here at 100 yards. It's 27.27. 27. 26.87. 
the groups is all over the place. That's not good. First one hit here, second one hit there, third one there, fourth one there, fifth one there. It's pretty wild swinging velocity as well. Low was 26.71, high 27.27, average 26.92, 56 extreme spread, 23 standard deviation, 26 72, 2705, 2671, 2687, 2727. So for me that's not it's not good, it's all over the place. Well the second load at 27.8. Low was 2666. High was 2723. Average 2694. Extreme spread of 56. Standard deviation 21, 2704, 2688, 2723, 2687. Still kind of jumping around there on velocity. Well, if that last shot would have ended up in here somewhere, I would have considered that a pretty decent group, but it didn't. It ended up out here. So back to the bench for the next round. That last group, the low was 26.54, 26.82, 26 26.69 average, 28 extreme spread, 10 standard deviation, 26.73, 26.69, 26.74, Twenty six sixty eight, twenty six fifty four. That's a little more like it there, but just didn't look like the group size was that good at a hundred yards. Velocity's kind of coming together there. It's weird that the uh, ones that had a little bit less powder in them had some higher velocities in the group and it seemed like as the charge got more dense the velocity slowed down a little bit but got more consistent been a really good group three of them was just like they ought to be for that velocity and consistency but then two of them's way out Maybe chasing the unicorn here, folks. Well, cases don't look bad. Primers aren't smashed all flat. They don't look bad at all. Maybe I could go up a little bit higher on powder charge. I don't know. Tried some more. I went up to 28.6 grains. Primers are a lot more flattened out, but still not making an extractor mark on them. And I shot five down there a while ago, and had four more left. I went ahead and shot those. And uh, the high was 27.47, average 27.30, 39 extreme spread, 16 standard deviation, 27.28, 27.47, 27 27.39. The group actually isn't real bad. There's a few that's kind of out, but... Some of that could be just me.
And this group right here was 28.6 grains of benchmark. I shot six of them there, two, three shot groups. And this was the very first load, which kind of shot halfway decent, except for that one. With the 107 grain match kings. So I don't know. There may be kind of a sweet spot here at, at this lower velocity and one maybe up here at this higher velocity. So I'll probably try to work around that. It's up over 2700. I think the standard deviation was 30 something. Stream spread was like 16. So I'll probably try to work around this right here. It's not too bad of a group at 100. Well, when I got home, I got to looking at the targets that I shot the other day with 28.6 grains of benchmark. It's kind of odd. There's two together, two together, and one there. I only shot five. And today I shot this exact same load. And there's two together, two together, two together. I don't know, that might, that might be a little bit of a hot load, but it seems to group fairly well out of it. I think I want to load some more up at that charge and give them a try. Well, I've got some here that I had loaded a while back and shot pretty decent. So I'm going to try some of them again. They're 120 grain burger bullets. I'm going to see if I can get some velocity off the chronograph with them. I'm going to shoot them at 100 and at 200. Shot three of the burger bullets at 100 yards. And they shot pretty darn good. They were averaging a little over 2,500, 2,530 something, I believe is what it was. Well, I give it a, a scrubbing with a bore brush and some copper solvent and shot it at, at 200 yards. And it, the first shot hit up there, then the second, third, and fourth shot of the burger bullets hit right there. And the 107 grain match kings, I shot those with the 28.6 grain charge, and they hit there at 200, which it's not great. It's just about two and a quarter inches or so. You might know the expensive bullets would shoot the best. I've got a whole bunch of these 107 grain match kings. That's probably about the best I've ever got them to shoot out of anything that I've ever shot them out of. For some reason, I just can't get those bolts to group well. But anyway, the 120 grain burgers are, they shoot pretty good out of the 24 inch barrel by Bear Creek Arsenal. Inch group at 200 yards. It's not too bad. We'll take it. Good luck in all your adventures. And thanks for watching.